Hi, I'm Jen. Um, I'm a psyche athlete and I'm on the British team. And on Monday we're leaving for the World Champs in Moscow. Um, so it's pretty exciting to get to go to the World Champs, especially this year when we've sort of struggled to get to a lot of competitions. So just like any comp we get to go to is really exciting. My first World Champs I did was in Innsbruck, I think maybe three years ago. And because I wasn't that experienced that comp, it was just sort of another World Cup for me. It was just a chance to go and compete and do my best. Whereas I guess this year I've done a few World Cups now. I like did a full season 2019. So yeah, this year the World Champs feels like a bit more of a big, a big deal, a big event, a little bit different to just another World Cup round. I think the biggest challenge of going to Moscow will be getting into Moscow. <laughs> There's so many forms and PCR tests we have to do. Um, so if we actually get there, I reckon that's, that's the hard bit over. So I've obviously been training like all year um, for various events and things, but because this is world champs, I will have like a big peak for this event. So since coming back from I think Salt Lake, I had a little break and then it was like just sort of building towards this event, especially as we weren't able to go to the other events in the summer. So yeah, just loads of climbing, like quite a lot of gym stuff, standard like fingerboarding, campusing. Um, so when I'm in, like, actually training for the event rather than like tapering off for it, I'd probably climb like five to six times a week. Um, at the minute, I'm trying to just get to loads of different walls and loads of different like settings and and holds and things just to get the variety in. Um, like you can get pretty comfortable at your home wall and and then you throw it into a big event with new setters and it all feels pretty new. So I, along with that, I've then just been doing like and cap to because like climbing for five minutes is pretty hard especially if the boulder's long and you want to have say four goes at it and um, then just conditioning work like a lot of pull strength um, and then like fingerboarding campusing as as per um, I think mentally the biggest challenge for me is like staying really confident up to the event and like really believing in that I've like prepped the best I can so I just try and have loads of fun sessions in like the last couple of weeks leading up to the comp and yeah just enjoy my sessions do loads of fun moves um, and then I guess when it gets to the comp try and like remember times that I've done well and what I did there and things like that but it is something I find challenging and I, I've not mastered it yet um, so yeah like course Covid totally changed the way we trained and everything I think in general it was quite good for the GB team like it, it brought us all together because we had unity as a, a training facility just for us and um, so we did more training as a team than ever before and like that was really nice it pushed everyone um, and yeah I think we just function better as a team now so that was ace and then it's also just helped me like focus a bit I think because of the lockdowns it sort of stripped a lot of other parts of your life so I just sort of worked and trained and it meant it like kept it really simple which I've actually kept now even though things are opening up and I really like that I think yeah it just takes some of them like um the thinking out of it really like I, I go I train and yeah apart from like being able to get to different walls now which is is super useful um I have kept a lot of that routine my perfect boulder normally i'd say like basic boshing like steep big holds just sort of slapping but i reckon now probably again because of covid and spending so much time in unity i do love a good sort of wobbly slab um just maybe not as the first boulder when you come out like nervous uh my worst boulder mm. something a bit weird and complex in a roof i think like, I, I like a jump, I find them really fun and they're super satisfying when you get them and I think it does give you a boost for the rest of the comp, even if they're hard. But yeah, something that's like hard to read, I think 
I can often just stand there a bit, a bit baffled. <laughs> After Moscow, we've got about three days at home and then we go to Korea, so um, it'll just be kind of like unpack, do my washing and pack again. Um, and then after that, I've got a couple of lead European Cups, which I'm super psyched about. I think it'll be really nice to like change up the discipline for the last part of the season um, and then hopefully get to Kalimnos, like ride out that endurance training and do some projects out there.